Greetings, Sagittarius. You guys here here. Welcome to our late night live sale this January. Oh my gosh, it's already January 6, 2023. How's everyone doing tonight? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Oh my goodness, it has been a crazy day. And I'm super excited to see all you guys in here right now. So let's see. Uh, oh, there's Dawn. Hi, Dawn. There's Liz and Pauline. There's Cindy. Tofo, hi guys. There's Lady Badger. Hello. Ooh, I'm excited for the weekend. Um, yesterday we had a surprise visitor or a couple of surprise visitors. My mom's um, like really good friend from I think from since like nursing school. Um, she came to visit with her daughter and her daughter has little twins and they're both three years old, a boy and a girl, and they were so, so cute. And they came yesterday evening at around five o'clock because they were driving over from Arizona and they were going to Disneyland. And luckily, like it wasn't raining today. Like, it, I think it was a little bit rainy, like in the like early morning. But it was pretty much sunny after that, so it was really nice. And I was really lucky of them to come when it wasn't raining anymore. Because I was like, oh, what if it was raining? That would have been the worst. But, yeah. It was really nice to see them. I haven't seen them in, like, over a year, I think. Hi, Lady Badger. How are you? Hi, Laura. There's Anna. There's Nadia. Hello, Nadia. Kathleen. Hi, guys. Hi, Odelia. And yeah, they were here for a few hours, and then today I had so much stuff to do because yesterday I couldn't, like, I didn't even leave the house because it was raining so intensely, like, the whole morning. Oh my gosh, like, the whole morning, afternoon, like, it was crazy. But I have a soda. I also have a coffee because I didn't have coffee this morning. Mmm. And it is warming me up, so it's really, really nice. I can't believe I'm drinking a diet, a diet orange soda and a coffee at the same time. It's kind of gross, but also delicious. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. <laughs> How was everyone's week? Did you guys all have a good week? Your first week of 2023? How was it? Hi, Madame Goomba. How are you? Happy Friday to you, too. Hi, Janice. It was so nice to see so many, like, faces I haven't seen in a hot second. Hi, J-Sweet. Are you guys all, like, getting recuperated from the holidays? Hi, Bevin. How are you? Hi, Maria. Um, I, I got a couple things in the mail today, so I thought I'd unbox it with you before we started the sale, while we're waiting for people to, like, trickle in, and I don't even remember, I think these are just Amazon things, so I won't open those things with you, but I had two things, one of them was, oh, here it is, wait, is this it? Oh, this is it. Okay, yeah, I got... A box and a bag, like a little a poly mailer. Nadia, oh, productive is good. Recovering from jet lag. Oh man, Debra. Yeah, at least you have the weekend to recuperate, right? Um, what do you guys think I should open first? Should I open the box first or the little, or the, the poly mailer first? I haven't decided if I was going to keep them yet, so you guys can help me decide. Um, I also got another thing, but I already opened it this morning, so, um, oh, I guess I can show you guys this first since I already opened it. No, I'll show it to you as the first item after I unbox the stuff, because... I'm gonna I, I I'm gonna put this one up for sale. Hi oh Maryland, how are you? Oh Jay Sweet, that's good to hear. Yay. 
All right. Don says the box first. So. Ooh, let's see. I don't have my box cutter with me. I'm just using these scissors. I love a good unboxing. I want to do like a live where all I do is like unboxings. I want to order like a bunch of stuff and unbox them with you guys live. Okay, what is this? Oh, <laughs> they put it like inside the shopping bag. I was like, Gentle Monster? Ooh, I got a nice shopping bag from Gentle Monster. Okay. Are you guys ready to see what's inside? What do you wait? What do you guys think it is? What do you guys think is in here? <gasps> no way, Bevin! Did you find it? Was it the PS One clutch? I love the PS One clutch. Hey, Ad. Oh, Ann, you came just in time. I'm doing an unboxing. I have two unboxings that I'm doing right now. This is the first thing that I, I just opened up out of a box. So. <laughs> Done. Okay. I don't know how you guessed this, Don, but it is, in fact, something Loewe. Yeah, Jezebel, I am. I'm so excited for this. Okay. Okay, okay. So they came in two little separate dust bags. And here it is. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Okay, and then in the other bag is the strap. Now this is, um, remember I had the mini gate bag? Like the little tiny one? That, um, oh, who was it? Who was it that bought it? It was, um, Squishy, I think, bought it, right? Uh, but this is the belt bag version. So it's actually a little bit bigger than the mini. So it's a little bit larger and it has, uh, this little strap right here. And I don't, I'm obsessed with belt bags. I think I've told you guys that a couple times already, but it's, just a little bit bigger, where's my phone, than the little mini by like, yeah, it is like barely a little bit bigger. I think it's like, a, I don't even know, a few centimeters bigger. It just feels a little bit wider and a little bit more flat maybe. And it also has like a little magnetic snap, but here's a little belt. Let's see how it is. Hi, Marjorie. <gasps> Hi, Fizzbot! I hope I'm putting this little thing on right. Okay. <laughs> That's like the main reason why I was like, maybe I will sell this bag. Because this is literally the same exact bag, except this one's the belt bag version. And I think I would use this one more than the other, like the, just the regular crossbody. So here is the little belt on. And you also get like a Loewe belt out of it too. Like when you buy the belt bags, it's kind of like a two for one. And oh, I love it. Oh, okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to sell this. I'm already in love. Oh, it's so good. I'm excited. Okay. So um, I think I have like every Loewe bag I have is in this color pretty much. I think whenever I start off, like a different um, design from Loewe. I always buy it in this color for some reason. I don't know why, but I have the puzzle in this color. I have, um, I have my, I forgot the name of that tote, but it's a tote. Um, I think the only 
bag that I don't have in this color is probably the flamenco bag. So, but it's so cool. And, <laughs> yeah, I was um, practicing using it today, so, but it is still available if anyone's interested. I mean, it's calling all your names for summer. It's like going to be such a good summer bag. Spring and summer, but I feel like it's a good all year bag too. <laughs> Squishy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the belt bag. Can you believe it? It's crazy. Marjorie is also my favorite color, too. I think it's my favorite color, like, in any bag design brand. Like, I love, like, that golden tan brown color. I feel like it's my favorite. Okay, let's open this one. I don't even remember what's in here, honestly, because I have a bunch of stuff that's coming to me right now, and they're all just kind of coming randomly. Okay. Oh, here it is. Where are you? Love a good unboxing. <laughs> Jazz. <laughs> Do you remember the brand of the big Birkin bag you found? Um, Ellen, uh, 007, there wasn't a brand on it. There was, like, no brand name on it. But, um, email me, because I think I found... Like, I think I, like, I found the bag online where it was being sold somewhere else. So, um, I can send you the link. Okay, are you guys ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Ooh, oh, this is really cute, too. Mm. Now, this one I bought because I, I'm going to color match it. So, I'm going to fix it up. It's like a little dirty and it probably needs some some color restoration. So that's why I bought it, but it's so cute. I love these little zip around wallets. I have um, one that I'm using right now. Oh, and it's like actually like not too bad in the inside. I think just this middle part has like some discoloration, but the other pockets are nice and clean. And oh, this is nice. I'm going to keep it pink, though, because I don't want to have to dye the fabric right here because it's still clean, so I feel like there's no purpose in um, giving myself more work by painting this a different color. So I think we're just going to color match this, and it's kind of like a raspberry pink color, but I could really go any color with the pink, right? Uh, actually, it's more like a magenta raspberry pink. This is like the original color right there of the tag, so... As you can see, it's lightened up considerably, but the leather is still super duper soft. The thing too that I love about the Chanel lambskin over the caviar, like yeah, like the caviar feels like it might be more durable of a leather, but that finish that's on top of the leather on caviar, that's kind of just like stamped on like using like layers of like essentially almost like acrylic paint. So if that gets damaged over time, the, um, what is it called? Like that texture of that leather, it's going to wear down and it's going to be really hard to like match it or like fix it. That's why it's easier. Like I feel like regular lambskin or just like the regular grained leathers are so much easier over time. If you catch my drift. <laughs> but, <clears throat> excuse me, but yeah, so... This is this. I think I am just going to hold on to it for right now until I can um, paint it up. But isn't it so cute? Yeah, right, Marjorie? Like, it's in really good condition. It just needs a good cleaning, conditioning, and then a, a color refresh. And then I think it'll be good to go. So, I will just keep this over here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have, like, all the colorful Chanel. I'm going to fix this one up, too, I decided. So, I'm going to color match this one also. And we're going to color match this one. I think we're going to have, like, a rainbow color, like, Chanel SLG sale. Like, I'm going to buy, like, a bunch of these to fix up. 
and then I'm gonna do like a like a sale on them. Do you guys like that idea? I think that'd be so fun to just do like a sale of all like Chanel or like other cool designer brand SLGs that I can find and I'll just restore them and we'll do a sale on those because I love fixing up these little wallets. I think it's so much fun. And I love color. Like black and like brown are great, but I mean, who doesn't want like a magenta wallet? It's so cool. Oh my gosh, that's exciting, Deborah! Congratulations. Okay, Deborah, I'm going to do that. These are the these are going to be the first two that I'm going to fix up, and then I'm definitely going to get more. I'm, I want to get different sizes too, like the regular, like the. Um, the regular continental wallets and I really like this I, I really like these two styles though these are probably my like these are two that I would use all the time like I love this size of wallet so and I love attaching like a little keychain to this so that way you can attach your keys to it and I think I'm gonna do that I'm gonna make a custom keychain for this and then for this one I'm gonna do like a crossbody strap or something so you can like wear it as a crossbody bag or also like attach your keys to it. So I'm going to I'm going to go all out I think on these. We're going to we're going to like semi customize them. Oh, that's so interesting, Kathleen. So is it doing a lot better now? Like are you able to like are you actually able to like see through it yet or are you still like having it covered up? Oh, Marjorie, that actually would be so cute. Hadrian's color, Hadrian's Loewe collection. Hi, Linda. How are you? Right on. It's my favorite size. Like this little, like the like anything like this or smaller. Like this is probably like the biggest that I would use on a regular basis. Just because I love like a small wallet. And then this is my favorite style. Like a zip around like this. And I also just love like a little card case as well. Alright, well let's get started. I do have some goodies for you guys. Um, oh, Madame Goomba. No, I did not. Let me take a look at it really quick. Let's see. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at this little kitty. Oh, is that, oh, is that your little lizard? Look at, hold on. Isn't that so cute? And her little, um, the little lizard is right there underneath the pillow. That's so cute. Here's another little photo of the another kitty cat. Adorable. Madame Goomba, are you on our Discord? You gotta share your um, photos in there too. Hold on, I'm gonna leave the link for the Discord. So if anyone hasn't joined our Discord group, I will link it so you guys can join. Um, where is it? Okay. All right, here is our link for the Discord. So if anyone would like to join the Discord group, head over there. Enjoy. You can share photos of your pets. You can share photos of your like your newest thrift finds, your newest handbags, bag of the day. There's also a section for um, handbag rehab questions, um, live sale information, or if you guys have anything for sale, there's also a section there too. I think um, Anne was able to sell a couple things in there today. So post your items in there, or you can post a link for your Depop, Poshmark, Mercari, eBay or um, whatever selling platforms that you may have, and people can go check it out. Oh, okay, Madame Goomba. Hi, Boots. All right, well, let's get started. Um, oh, wait, I need a question for the giveaway. Today's giveaway is super cute if I can find it. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Let me take it out of the plastic. Okay, this is today's giveaway, and this is perfect because Madame Goomba just shared her little kitty cat. This is today's giveaway. It's the cutest little cat pouch. It's brand new. 
Look at his little eyeballs. It looks like Puss in Boots. And I literally just watched it the other night. And it is the cutest movie. I'm obsessed with... What's the little dog's name that they ended up naming the dog? Um, Perito? I think they ended up naming him Perito. Like, that was so cute. But this is today's giveaway. It's a little cat pouch. And the inside has, like, this uh, polka dot lining. And then the little pole has a little tail attached. So it's so cute. So this is today's giveaway. Look at that! Ah, it's adorable! I love it. So, that's our giveaway. So if you guys can help me think of a question, that would be perfection. 007, no, I used to own a cat. Um, a, a long time ago, we had a cat, his name is Jack. And he was actually like a, a yellow striped cat and he had yellow eyes. He was gorgeous. But that was a long time ago. And has Chanel's and LV for sale, you guys. Oh, Anne? Oh, I didn't see that. And we got to figure out when we're doing our sale. Um, probably sometime after um, I do my sale with Lady Badger. Because... Yeah, I'm going to be pretty busy until then because we have Eliza's birthday and his birthday party and it's just going to be nuts. <laughs> you guys, no, you can't buy it. Today, this is the giveaway. If I find any more, I'll let you guys know. But this is tonight's giveaway. So got to make sure to enter. Um, oh, style chat. That's my, well, you know, my dad's allergic and he just, um, he was just staying strong because <laughs> he loves cats so much. Ooh, that's good. Uh, 007. That's a good question. Yeah. Cat or dog. If you had to pick one, would you rather have a cat or a dog? Leave your answer in the comments. It was this morning's YouTube video. I'm going to leave that right there for you guys. Leave your answer in the comments. And at the end of tonight's live sale, we're going to be announcing our winner. Oh, there it is. Okay. Who is your nephew? Oh my gosh, Boots, you have a super duper busy month. Goodness gracious. Maria, you have eight cats. It's awesome. Yeah, my dad just took a lot of allergy medication. <laughs> and just like vacuumed intensely. All right, well, let's get started. This is going to be item number one. I unboxed it already this morning, otherwise I would have unboxed it with you guys, but um, it comes with a dust bag right here, and oh, I didn't attach the longer strap. Hold on one second. I don't want to show you guys yet until I have this strap attached. I only had the shorter one attached on here. Alright, this is our first item for the evening and it is a coach pillow tabby in pink um this is the i think it's the size 28 or 26 it's the it's not the largest one it's like the medium sized one but it's in this beautiful but, like, you know, like, this is, like, the bigger one. There's, like, the medium size, right? Wait. I don't know. Maybe it's just the... No, but there's, like, the ginormous one, Beatrice, remember? That one that, like, everyone had. So this is, like, the size that, like, is not the mini. And it's not the extra large. It's just, like, the regular size. I don't know. But, bubblegum pink. Oh, thank you, Dawn. 26. There you go. It has a little shoulder strap. has a crossbody strap. We have the little pillow, um hang tag right here and the bag is in pretty good condition the only wear is there is rubbing 
right here on the leather on the front of the hardware. But it's not like, it's not very obvious. It kind of goes with, like, when the light hits it, that's kind of usually where it kind of is shiny. So you don't really notice it. But it's in great shape otherwise. There is some, there are some, like, there's, like, a dent right there. But I think that's from when it was laying in the bag when it, the strap was, like, underneath it. So I, I'm pretty sure it'll come right out over time. Otherwise, the bag is in great shape. The interior is nice and clean. We have the middle zipper dividing pocket and then just two main compartments, no other pockets or anything. Magnetic snap up at the top. And the corners on this guy are pretty good. Don't think there's any... Oh my gosh, why is this not magnetic? Oh, there it is. Um, the corners are in pretty good shape. I think this one has the most wear. Is in this corner right there. I feel like the eraser actually might help it if I can find my eraser. This is why you get your eraser handy inside your bag. Because <sighs> sometimes just a little eraser will help exponentially. <sighs> like I know it's not going to restore the color fully, but it is going to lighten that dark mark up a lot. So it has lightened up a lot just with the eraser um, but that one was the most wear on the corner all the other corners are in pretty great shape so this is going to be item number one our pink coach tabby 26 pillow coach tabby 26 in pink leather and this is how much Adrian? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $185. That's going to be item number one. Oh, I love the little one. The mini tabby is literally so cute. All right, so this is item number one. Our little coach pillow tabby in the, or not little, but <laughs> our coach tabby 26 in the pink. Let's go on to our next item. All right, up next, I have to move some of these. Okay. Need some space. Uh, number two is going to be this, okay, this bag is so fun. This is a Kate Spade crossbody. And it says, or Kate Spade, did I say coach? This is a Kate Spade crossbody. It's in black and white, and then it says extra spicy. And then it has a little jalapeno, or it like had a little pepper, little pepper zipper pull, and it's like puffy. It's so cute. The bottom is in red, and so is the crossbody strap. The bag is in pretty great shape. I think there's just um, a little bit of wear right here on there. I don't know if something stuck to it. No, I think there's like a little bit, there's like rubbing on one side of the jalapeno. The other side's in great shape though. And then when you go inside the bag, it is nice and clean. There's just one pocket right inside, and yeah, this is our little extra spicy Kate Spade bag, and it just has Kate Spade in gold right there with a little spade up top, and yeah, it's really fun. All right, so this is our extra spicy Kate Spade black and white stripe uh, crossbody bag with light gold hardware. Okay, and this one's gonna be how much, Adrian? Okay, we're gonna do this one for 55. And that's gonna be item number two. Mm. 
There she is. She's really cute. This is like a good like going out bag. <laughs> it's pretty fun. All right. Up next, um, I have this is a Kipling hobo shoulder bag, and it's in this really pale green color. It's like a almost like a light like a pistachio or like a sea foam green. It's really pretty. It has a little leather um, monkey right there. So this is a newer stock because it has the all leather monkey. And it just says Kipling right here. It does have a little mark right there on the corner. And then also just right there as well. There's minor rubbing on the corners also. But this is like an all leather bag. There's two front pockets with magnetic snaps, and then it zips across the top. There's also this great, like, um, ah. there you go. There's a nice, big, chunky zipper up top, and the inside comes with a removable little Kipling pouch in the same color. Yes, silver hardware, Dawn. And then it has, um a little pocket right here and then two three little pen pockets and then an open pocket on the other side and then it has a zipper pocket on the back and it has like this purple lining there's slight darkening at the bottom but nothing crazy and this is gonna be our next item the pouch is removable too, I don't know if I said that. And also has like that same purple lining inside. Uh, so this is our light green, light, let's put sea foam green Kipling hobo shoulder bag with silver hardware. Hi Hippatia, how are you? And this one's gonna be how much, Adrian? Okay, let's do this one for $30. Actually, let's do $25. $25 is going to be item number three. A little Kipling. It's super cute. It's just like a nice, like, easy little shoulder bag. The color is really fun, too. A really nice light green. Oh, Lady Badger's calling it. Congratulations, Lady Badger. <laughs> item number three is going to you. All right. Up next, item number four. Hi, Marion. How are you? Let's put this guy right over there. Um, up next, I have a really pretty... This is a Starbucks mug. And it has, like, you know, like, that print that you do when you do, like, the bubble art and then you, like, put, like, a piece of paper or whatever inside of it and then it makes, like, this design? So, this is a little Starbucks mug. It still has, like, the sticker on the bottom. And it's just the white in the inside. And it says Starbucks right inside of there. Just a cute little mug. Hi, cutie koi. How are you? So, this is going to be item number four. And it's going to be our Starbucks. I'm going to call it the bubble mug. And this one we're going to do for... Let's do this for $12. Oh, Hippati, I'm sorry. Okay, up next. Item number five. Yeah, it's a fun little mug. All right, our next item is going to be, oh, I still have this guy. So this is that Marc Jacobs Collection crossbody bag. And this is like that flat one. And it has like, it's essentially three pouches, a small pouch and then two larger pouches of the same size. And this is in a super soft, I think it's either a goat or a lambskin. I think it might be a goatskin leather. Um, this is in like a peachy pink and this is like a purpley, um, lavender color. 
and we have light gold hardware. There's a zipper pocket in front, and then the top zipper in the front compartment has some built-in card slots right there. And then the back one has just one slip pocket. It's nice and clean on the inside. The bag is in really great shape. You can either wear it as a shoulder bag or you can extend it as a crossbody. So it's really great. And there's the back. It has light gold hardware. This, um, these are made in Italy. And I believe this bag retailed between $750 to $850. These collection bags were really pricey. But the leathers and like the way they were made were all really, really nice. Uh, this is going to be item number five. Oh, Cindy's calling number four. Congratulations, Cindy. I didn't see you there. Sorry about that. That's on, That's for the mug. Congratulations. I love that mug. It's really, really cute. And then this is number four. It's going to be our uh, Mark Jacobs Collection Triple Pouch Crossbody Bag with Light Gold Hardware. Okay, this one is 150, but we're gonna do 125 tonight. 125, that's gonna be item number five. Oh, you know, I don't know if this Linda Lobster is still sick. I haven't seen her in the live. I think she might be busy though. I think before she said she was gonna have like family and stuff coming over, so. Uh, okay. Let's go to number six. All right, I have a really great, um, this is a Brahmin crossbody bag right here. And it's in this really nice, like, plum color. It's like brown, purple. And it's in that embossed crocodile leather that they're known for. And then the brass hardware, there is um, some color loss in the turn lock area in the front. And it has this nice, like, it has one, two, three, four, five. So there's five pockets. There's these four ones, and then there's a larger one in the back. And then it also has this built in, these built-in card slots right here. And this first one is a clear ID slot. So this is like a built-in wallet in that front pocket. There also is a compartment right behind that top flap. And then there's another pocket in the very, very back of the bag as well. And in the middle dividing zipper compartment has a little key fob. And then there's also a zippered pocket inside of there. And it is in good condition. There is a little bit of... Um, you see, there's like that green mark right there. That's just oxidation from the brass hardware. So it kind of turned it a little bit blue. Uh, so that's from there. But yeah, and there's also some slight discoloration up at the top by where the zipper is. Otherwise, though, the bag is in great shape. The leather looks really nice. There's minimal rubbing on the corners. And just a great little crossbody bag. And the crossbody strap is, is it adjustable? Not adjustable. Oh no, it is. You can adjust it on this side right here. So you can, um, you can make it shorter and you can also, yeah. I think it also make it a little bit longer than what it is right here. It's a pet name. <laughs> right? Yeah, the color is really pretty on this Brahmin. So this is our plum colored Brahmin embossed croc leather cross body bag with brass hardware and built in wallet. Okay, we're going to do this one for 60. And that's going to be item number 6. Our little Brahmin. Right, Don, the color is really pretty on this one. I actually have another Brahmin, which I'm going to show next. And this one is 
just a shoulder bag. Let me put this over here so I don't forget. This one's a little shoulder bag. I think this one is in their most popular color, which I believe is called Pecan. And this is in uh, the same Croc and Boss leather in like this beautiful brown. I love all the dimension in it. I also love that it's kind of like a patent. So you have like that nice gloss. You have the little Brahmin, uh, little metal tag right there. It does have some light marks, but nothing crazy. We have a nice little shoulder strap so you can carry this on your shoulder really easily. This is a great size for every day. It'll hold all your essentials. Um, there's just one zipper pocket on the inside. And then it is in the, uh, what is it called? The microfiber lining on the interior. And I think it's, yeah, it's nice and clean in there. I don't see any marks. Yeah, so it's in great shape on the inside. This bag is in really good condition. It's a cute little shoulder bag. I think you can also... Oh yeah, you can actually remove the shoulder strap. So you can just make this into a clutch as well. Or I think you can um, attach it to the other side. And you can have a wristlet as well. But the it'll be kind of long for like the little loop thing. Or you can just attach like a different wristlet onto it. And then use it like that. But it's a great little shoulder bag. So this is our... Number seven, pecan colored leather um, embossed croc Brahmin shoulder bag with brass hardware. And this is gonna be how much we for this guy? Okay, we're gonna do 50 for this guy. That's gonna be item number seven. It's adorable. Cute little shoulder bag. All the corners are in great shape as well on this one. This is like more um, shiny like a patent. The other one is a little bit more matte, but it does still have like a shine to it. All right, then up next I have, oh, this is a great Dagny Dover belt bag. And this is in a black neoprene. This is a newer style. There's a front pocket right there. And then the main body opens up right at the top here. This is what the inside looks like. It has um, a little key fob. There's a like a card kind of pocket right there. And then I think it's like a lipstick or like a chapstick pocket on the other side. And then there also is a pocket here in the back as well and then you have like this great like clip right here so it attaches and detaches really easily and huh <gasps> really on you maybe what was it sorry guys i think someone uh, accepted an offer that i made <gasps> Ooh. Okay, something's gonna come in soon. Probably sometime next week. Okay, anyway, this is a great belt bag, a body bag. It's lightweight, it's waterproof, and it's a great like Disney bag. It's a great like gym bag, workout bag. Oh, this is great for like if you're going on a hike, um, if you're going on a run, this bag is really, really nice for that. Okay, this is our black Dagny Dover neoprene belt bag with black hardware. So it's black on black. Um, wait, how much did you say it was, Vader? 60 This one's going to be $60. Um, Don, I think the answer is going to be no. We'll never have enough. <laughs> Bags are like the best. Uh, yes, it is, Madame Goomba. So the bag, um, it's super adjustable in the back. So you can make it super small, you can extend it. So it's, it's fantastic. It also has a little thing right here to hold down the strap when you extend it. So you can make it pretty much any size. It extends really, really big. Probably up to like a size like over 40 um, waist length. And then you can make it super petite as well. 
<laughs> Don. Okay. Uh, next up, we got item number nine. Let me drink a swig of my coffee really quick. Okay. Up next. Oh. Um, vintage coach. This is in a beautiful, like, burgundy colored leather. Very similar to that other Brahmin in, like, the tone. It does have the crossbody strap. Um, the strap is removable, too, so you can just use it as a shoulder, as a clutch as well. But, yeah. That's what I like about this one, because sometimes, like, the vintage ones, you can't remove the straps. But this one you can. So you can use different straps on this too. It'd be really great with like a fun... Um, <gasps> wait, hold on. I just got one recently. Where is it? I got like a cool... Ah, here it is. Okay. Check this out. Like, look at this strap. Isn't this really cool? I'm super petite, like a zero zero. Oh yeah, Madame Boomba. It has um, it has like a little uh, belt in the back. So let's see how small it goes. I think it'll go really small. Okay. Yeah, this is like a tiny... I don't know what the measurement for this is, but it's probably really small. Let's do left to right. So that way, like, without any excess coming out, um, width is 15. Is that like a 30? The trick for this, though, is that when you do have excess, you put the other piece underneath... And then you just pull this over, and then it'll just keep it in, so it won't, like, pop out. So even if you were smaller than that, like, you can still fold it in. And the other thing, too, is you can actually just cut this wherever you want, and then just burn the ends, and then it'll stay sealed. So, or you can sew it, like, like they did here, but you can actually just cut this, and then you burn the ends, and then it'll just stay because it's um, like a seat belt kind of thing. Okay. Oh, back to this bag. Okay. Look how good this looks. Okay. Look how fun this is. Like with this strap on it. Like, you can, like, use, like, a cool guitar strap. Like, that looks really, really fun. Life hack. Oh, <laughs> congratulations, Madame Goomba. <laughs> Yay. You're going to love it. This is a great, great belt bag. I love Dagny Dover stuff. But, yeah, isn't that so cute? Like, with a little strap. Should I just include the strap with this? I'm going to just include the strap with this because I think this is so cute. It has, like... Um, green, lime green, white, and black. I feel like that's such a fun combo with this bag. So, um, oh, but let me show you guys the rest of the bag. So, it will, I will include this cool strap. It'll have the regular strap that it comes with as well. Um, this one does not have the hang tag, though. It doesn't come with the original hang tag. Um, this guy is made in New York City. And it's one of those ones where the... It has, like, another leather piece that has the, um, like, the code on there, which is really cool. Um, yeah, with a registration number. That's what it's called. And it's unlined inside. Um, Kathleen? I think it might. I don't know if it's going to be the exact same color, but... I think it'll still look good because it has like that two-tone kind of, it's two-tone, it's different colors on each side. Um, it's going to be item number nine. This is our maroon um, slash like oxblood. 
leather vintage coach made in New York City um, with green, white, and black guitar strap and brass hardware. And how much is this one, Vedrain? Okay, we're gonna do this guy for 85. It's number nine. And like I said, this will come with the strap as well. Oh, Dagny Dover. How much was that Dagny Dover again? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, so that was number nine. And then number ten is up next. And this bag is in pretty great condition. There's no, like, crazy marks or anything. The corners are in great shape. This bag's probably older than I am. And will probably live to be older than I am. This bag is, these vintage coach bags like last forever. Hypatia, um, I guess if no one wants the bag, I can sell it by itself. Um, if no one claims the bag after today's sale, um, I'll separate them and I'll sell the strap tomorrow. All righty. Up next, we're on item number 10. And I have this black uh, Mark Jacobs. What's really cool too is that a guitar strap will go with like so many things. Like look how cute it is with this. I feel like it would be really good with this bag as well. Unfortunately, this one's not gonna come with this strap either. Cause as I'm I'm keeping it with the with the coach for now. But if no one claims that bag tonight, um in tomorrow's sale I'll separate them and sell the strap by itself. But look how cute this is. Like with the black coach with the strap. Like that looks really good. But this is the um this is the Mark Jacobs Natasha crossbody bag in black pebbled leather. <gasps> and actually it would. I think it'd be like the same exact color too. I think it might be the same exact color also. As like the I'm gonna I'm gonna have to check. I already gave the bag to Vadrian, but I'll check tomorrow and see if it matches. Man, I wish I had that this strap before. I probably would have included it with it. Um, okay, but black, Mark Jacob, Natasha, black pebbled leather. This has the crossbody strap on the inside right here. This is the thicker strap, too. This is the one-inch strap. So it's the thicker strap. So this is the newer updated style. This is also the bag that, um, the collection of bags that Mark Jacobs re-released from his, like, older styles, which is pretty cool. This was one of his most popular collections. And this one is in like new condition. It looks like I just bought it from the store. Really great shape. The hardware is really nice. Leather is in perfect condition. Beautiful bag. Okay, so this is number 10. Our black Mark by Mark Jacobs. Natasha with gold hardware. And how much was this Fadrian by Natasha? White sunglasses in your box last time. Okay, this one's $75. Oh, Carbon, I think those sold already in another live. I'm sorry, I don't have those sunglasses anymore, I think. Hold on, let me see what sunglasses I have. Um, okay, so that was number 10. Um, 
I have these diff sunglasses, like these. And then I have these like cool round ones that are um, Wyatt, which make me look like um, B.D. Wong from Law and & Order. And then I have one pair, oh no, I have two pairs. You've already seen these Celine sunglasses though. I have these in the, in like a, almost like a, I don't know what color this is, but it's like a, like a red kind of color. Oh, wait, the white ones? I feel like those sold already or no? Or did my sister, oh, you know, my sister might have taken them. I don't remember. I don't see them anywhere. Am I going crazy? They were from, I think they were from the video from the other day. Ooh, did I put them somewhere else? Um... I might have to look for them, Carmen. I honestly don't know where they went. Um, Kathleen, I'll take off ten dollars on it if you want to get that um that coach bag without the strap. And I'll just remove the strap, and then we can sell the strap tonight if anyone's interested in it. If you wanted that coach bag. Um. Okay. Eleven is gonna be. Oh, okay. This one is pretty fun. I have, uh, this is brand new, this is a brand new Anya Henmark, um, little charm. It was in the bottom in your collection box. Oh, I thought it was from a haul video. Okay, um, actually, let me just show this first, and I'll look back at those sunglasses again. But here is the... It's a full set. It comes with everything, dust bag, box. Um, and it just says, this is like a leather uh, keychain charm, and it says, oops. And it's really cute. And it's like in blue and that's outlined in silver. And this is like brand new in box. So this is, number, this is gonna be our Oops Anya Handmark Leather Keychain Charm with um, for gold hardware. And how much is this gonna be, Adrian? Okay, we're gonna do this one for $65. And that's gonna be number 11. And now let me go look at those sunglasses again and see if I can find it. <gasps> A ketchup package charm? Send me it, I wanna see it. Ooh, Jenny's calling it. Congratulations, Jenny, for number 10 on, oh wait, no, that was the Mark Jacobs bag. Congratulations, Jenny. Number 10 is the Mark by Mark. All right. That one's such a cute bag. I, the Natasha is one of my faves from that collection. Okay, Jenny Racinos. Congratulations. All right. Okay, let me look for that. the sunglasses really quick. You guys, Vaderin is making me jealous by looking at things online while we're doing the sale. I'm trying to move all of these sunglasses over here. Okay. Uh, I'm trying not to drop everything. Um, the white ones. The white ones. 
Wait, I don't think I have white sunglasses. Are you talking about the gray ones? I have gray sunglasses. Okay. Yeah, I think they might be these. Um, these are... I think these are Mosley Tribes. These are Mosley Tribe sunglasses. And oh, these are... <laughs> these are actually, like... I've had these for a while. I actually bought these at the store. Um, I actually own two pairs of these. I also have them in black. But these glasses are pretty cool. They're from the same brand. Like, um, they're also, kind of like, from all of our people. Like, all, I think all of our people owns all the brands or whatever. But these are them. And they're, like, a gray plastic... And then they have silver metal on the side. Are these them? Oh my gosh, you're right. Sorry. I forgot to take this off from yesterday. Thank you, Anne. There we go. Um, but yeah, these are these. Are these, are these the ones that you saw, Carmen? Oh, yeah. No, they're gray. Yeah, I don't have any white sunglasses, unfortunately. Not in my, like, my little box of sunglasses. Those are the only ones that would be it. Everything else is, like, a darker color or, like, a gold metal frame or something. Uh... Kathleen, probably not tonight. I didn't get a chance to um, take any out. I don't know if I even have really any. Well, actually, hold on. I might have a fixer-upper or two in here. Let's see. Uh, and don't judge me. You know I, I'm, I love sunglasses so much. Okay. Um, oh, if you didn't enter the giveaway, too, I'll leave that link one more time. We're giving away that super cute cow, a cow, cat pouch. There's the link for it. Leave your answer. If you could only have a dog or a cat, what would it be? Leave your answer in the comments of that video that I linked. It was this morning's YouTube video. And don't forget to give this video and that video a thumbs up, because that always does help the channel immensely, and I would greatly appreciate it. Here is a little cat pouch again. Super cute. Looks like... Puss in Boots. So adorable. So that's our giveaway for tonight. And... Ooh, Fendi Sunnies. Did you put them up in um, in the Discord, Anne? Anne, how many things did you sell today in the Discord? I feel like um, I didn't get to read everything. Like, like, it'll pop up. But I was driving, so I didn't get to see. Hi, Veronica. Okay, um, here's a little, I guess this one could be a project bag. Let me just put this little buckle in. Okay, oh, it does also have a little charm. Let's attach that. Okay, um, this is a little project bag. Not, like, it doesn't have, like, really anything crazy wrong with it but it's a great michael kors satchel it has super soft leather like it's so squishy um it just does have a couple small water stains on the front this is i think like a vegetable dyed leather so it's super porous so it does it's gonna get a patina over time and then if you do splash water on it and you don't get to wipe it off right away it can leave like marks like that so um, there's also a couple marks on the back as well, but nothing too, like, noticeable. There is, though, this pen mark that is right there in the back corner. Um, also, the little belt, like this, that's on the strap, it's missing right here. So it's missing off of there. Uh, but, I mean, it'll 
the strap still stays on, but it's missing that one little strap. And the interior, I don't think it's in like terrible condition, but there are quite a few pen marks inside. Um, but no, no other like stains other than the pen marks. So just a bunch of pen marks in the interior. There's a zipper pocket and then four open pockets inside. Uh, and how much are we doing this one for, Adrian? It does also have a crossbody strap too. So it's actually a pretty good size. Then here it is as a crossbody, nice and squishy leather. It's actually really, really nice. Veronica, no, I'm sorry. I was actually wearing it earlier. I took it off because I got hot because I was drinking coffee. I'm sorry, I'm keeping that one for right now. Uh, so this is our brown Michael Kors satchel with gold hardware. And this one's going to be an as-is bag. And this is how much for Okay, we're going to do this one for $25. Uh, that's going to be number 12. 25 for this Michael Kors little fixer-upper. That honestly doesn't have anything really too wrong with it, but... Cute bag. Oh, Lady Badger's calling it. Congratulations, Lady Badger. This one's going to you. Okay, up next. Oh, it's number 13. Lucky number 13. Okay, let's see what we got for number 13. I love it, too. I love Phantom of the Opera. It's, like, my favorite. Oh, I still do have our Loewe puzzle. This is the extra large one. She's gorgeous. She's tricolor. So she's uh, in brown, navy, and then black. And then it has silver hardware. And it does also come with the dust bag. There's a pocket on this side, which is fantastic. And then... There's a zipper pocket in the back as well. Great travel bag. Oh no, Anne. <laughs> okay, so this is um, our extra large Loewe puzzle bag in black, brown, and navy with Silver hardware and dust bag. And how much for this again, Vadrian? Okay, this one is thirteen fifty. So that's one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars for item number thirteen for our extra large Loewe bag. She is a beauty. Ah, this Napa leather is really nice too, and this is a rare size as well. Okay, so that's number 13. 14, um, let me see if I have anything else, Kathleen. What else do I have? Um, I do have this sanctuary, sanctuary backpack that I can do. Sanctuary bags are actually pretty pricey, and they're actually really, like, well-made. Um, this one looks like this. It's a little backpack in black pebbled leather, and it has silver hardware. The straps are also in leather as well. Um, honestly, the bag is actually in pretty good shape. It just needs a little bit of cleaning. So I'm going to just leave this one as is, and then it'll be pretty easy to clean up. Um, the thing is that the, like, the name is in silver right here on the front. It's kind of rubbing off a little bit. Honestly, I think it would be better just to remove the whole thing. Um, just a little bit of rubbing alcohol can get that right out. And then if you lose any color, you can just use a little black nail, or black nail, black leather dye and cover that right up. Uh, there's a drawstring right here. And the interior is actually pretty clean. Yeah, interior is nice and clean. There's a zipper pocket in there and then two open pockets. And it just has black um, nylon lining. But you honestly just need a little bit of a cleanup. Maybe you can either leave this or um, remove it. 
but the bag is in pretty great shape. Which one? Katie? Oh, Katie, you didn't get it? Well, we'll make sure to send it out to you. I, Adrian's going to check and see if we still have it. Sometimes, because um, we send it out, usually first class mail, so it doesn't have tracking. Um, and sometimes it takes a while. And I know you just live in California, so I don't know why you haven't gotten it yet. So, um, Adrian will check in a bit. Veronica, not at the moment, but Veronica, you can just go on Amazon. Amazon has a ton of bag chains. Um, but it's a different, do you have that one black crossbody that looks like a YSL? Oh, Madame Goomba, I don't. I'm sorry, that one sold already. Black Sanctuary leather backpack with silver hardware. As is. And this one's gonna be... Let's do this one for $25 also. If anyone's interested in this guy, it's a, a black sanctuary leather backpack. $25. Let me see how much. No way, that's an amazing deal. Congratulations. Yeah, I think these sanctuary backpacks, they retail, like, retail price is, like, almost $200 for them. I think it's, like, $195. Oh, Kathleen's calling number 14. Congratulations, Kathleen. <laughs> Yay! All right. Congratulations. Uh, dun -dun -dun. Okay. Up next, number 15. Oh, this one is so cute. All right. Up next. Let me try to... All right. This is our next little bag. This one is a tiny little Rebecca Minkoff crossbody bag. It's a tiny, cute little satchel. It is so adorable. Hi, Tiffany. How are you? Thanks for joining us tonight. And so this is a Rebecca Minkoff. It's a mini little crossbody satchel. Black pebbled leather, silver hardware. Um, there is a nice little back pocket right here. Let me see if the phone fits. Ah, I dropped my phone. Ooh. Okay, phone doesn't fit into the back pocket, unfortunately. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll fit in the main part of the bag, though. But it has a crossbody strap right here. The crossbody strap also is adjustable, and it is removable. And this bag is so cute. Like, it's such a cute little size. Like, it's adorable. And it has actually some magnetic um, snap on the front. So that's magnetic. So you don't have to undo the little clasp. So the clasp is purely um, decorative. And then when you get to the interior, there is just one interior pocket. And then that's it. But your phone does fit inside of there perfectly with actually like a lot of room to spare. So you can still fit a lot inside of here. And you can also just use this as a little top handle bag, a little clutch. So it can definitely go from day to night really easily. And again, silver hardware. And the bag is in really great shape. It's super duper cute. I love the silhouette and style of this one too. Right, it's so adorable. Vadrian accidentally hung up on me. Oh, and Vadrian sent me the cutest charms. Stop it. <gasps> How much are these? The Diet Coke charm? Am I going to spend $480 on a Diet Coke charm? Hold on, I have to show it to you guys. <laughs> 
Also, where's Vadrian? What's happening? Okay, I'm gonna send myself this so I can show it to you guys. It is so cute. Hold on, this is so crazy. $480 though? I don't think I can justify $480. Can I use that as a tax write-off? <laughs> yeah, I'm literally gonna buy it. It's already in my shopping cart. Okay, you guys, you have to look at this. This is the cutest. This is what Vadrian's ruining my life with right now. This Diet Coke coin purse from Anya Hinmark. I'm telling you, she makes the cutest things. Uh, $480. <sighs> so sad. <laughs> anyway, um, so this is going to be our uh, what number are we on? 15. This is our small, actually I'm going to call it the mini black leather uh, Rebecca Minkoff flap satchel with silver hardware. Right? Okay, can we all buy it? Because it's so cute. <laughs> but it's so expensive. Now it's going to be my mission to buy that. Like, second hand somewhere at a, at a significant discount because that is the cutest. Like, Diet Coke is my favorite. If they, but, well, or I think Diet Orange Soda is my current favorite, but Diet Soda, Diet Coke is my favorite. Uh, it's my drug of choice. Okay, how much is this one, Vadrian, for the Rebecca Minkoff's little mini bag? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $65 for our little mini Rebecca Minkoff. She's in fantastic condition. And that's number 15. So cute, so petite, so tiny. I love the little tassels. And I know the tassels are for everyone, so you can actually remove the tassels if you want it. There's just like one little stitch, just pop it and they'll come off. But adorable. Okay, there's that right there. Then 16. <gasps> you went to Coke headquarters? No way. Uh, Veronica, sure. We have this guy right here. Our extra spicy Kate Spade crossbody bag. We have our pink Coach Tabby 26 um, with light gold hardware. This one does have, like, some rubbing, though, on the front. And a little bit of rubbing on the corners as well. And then you saw the Rebecca. We have uh, the little brown Brahmin shoulder. And then this other Brahmin. This is a crossbody. This is in like a, like a plum purple color. We have our Marc Jacobs right there. But I know you've seen that one. I think you've seen this one too. This is just a, a coach crossbody bag. In like this. Also, kind of like a plum brown burgundy color. Kate Spade's so cute. Oh, 50 taster flavor? No way. Did you taste all of them? <laughs> Done. Oh my gosh, this is a Fanta. Stop it. Well, I, I, no, I like Diet Coke better than Fanta, though, so that's okay. I'm not, oh, but I'm dying over the ketchup one. Hold on, you guys have to see this one, too. And this one is $240, but it's also super duper cute. But it doesn't open. Like, you can't actually use it. It's not like a coin purse, so unless this was, like, under, like, 50 bucks or something, I'm probably never going to buy it. I can kind of justify a coin purse, but I can't justify just, like, a little charm. Well, maybe I can. No, it's not. It's just a charm. This is a little ketchup packet. It's so cute. It's a little leather ketchup packet. It's just a charm. $240. Uh, the Coach one is... How much was the Coach? 
Oh, it was eighty five dollars. All right, up next, um, number sixteen. And I have, this is a Michael Kors collection bag. And it's in this, this is um, black snakeskin. And uh, it's also like in regular black leather. This little piece is black. It looks like a camera bag, right? It's like a camera. There's two little pockets on the sides. And then there's one pocket here in the back with a magnetic snap. And then this opens up. This is actually a pocket inside of here. So you can fit your AirPods inside. You can put little secrets in there, little snacks, like a, like some M&Ms or something. You can stick that inside of there. So it's really cute. The inside is in this uh, Nubuck leather. And then it's just one, it looks like two card pockets in there. And there's a couple small pen marks in that back corner but nothing crazy otherwise the interior is pretty clean and you can actually remove the crossbody strap and then turn this into a clutch and the strap also is adjustable you're welcome veronica right the ketchup one is so cute hibatia oh vadrian did, does she have french fries pauline wants to know she has <laughs> no she doesn't pauline i wish she had french fries that would have been super cute all right this one is number 16. This is our black snake skin um, Michael Kors collection camera bag with silver hardware. How much is this, Adrian? Right? It's an interesting bag, right, Boots? I think I've, um, I've had this bag two other times. Once in silver and the other... I don't remember if it was also black or if it was, like, blue. But... It's crazy that I've actually had this bag a couple different times already. Okay, this one's $85. And this is a um, Michael Kors collection, too. So it's not uh, regular Michael Kors. All right. Up next, we're going to go to number 17. Uh, our next item. Oh, you know, I totally forgot that I still have this. It's just been sitting on my desk or on my coffee table here. Um, this is the Saint Laurent key case. And this is a smooth black leather. And then it has just gold writing right there, Saint Laurent. It's in actually really great shape. Very minimal wear on the exterior. And the interior is in pretty good shape as well. There are a couple little, like, marks. But that's to be expected because you put the keys in there and it's a smooth leather. So that will happen over time. There's one card pocket on one side. And you have the little keys right there. And it's, this will hold one, two, three, four. This will hold six keys. And it also has one of these longer ones. So you can put like your car keys on there and just leave it out. So that way it's not going to be, you can still close this easily. So it's fantastic. This is number 17, our black Saint Laurent um, key case with gold hardware. How much is this, Peter? And this is $195. And that's number 17. Okay, 18 is up next. Uh, oh, Norma, you're calling number 9 and number 16. That was the, oh, the Vintage Coach and the Michael Kors Snake Bag. Congratulations, Norma. <laughs> Yay. And then number 16. Congratulations, Norma. Those are great pieces. Next up, we got number 18. 
let's do, um, okay, this is, like, such a cool piece. So, this is the Kate Spade little crossbody bag, but right now, I have it in clutch form. So, you can wear this as a clutch. It's, like, a little wristlet right here. Um, there's a nice, big back pocket. And then, in the front, it actually has a little belted detail right there. And you can pop out this little wallet, which, oh, there it is. This little wallet. And it's so cute. It's in this really fun floral print. It has a bunch of card slots on the back. And then a slip pocket in the front. And it does zip across the top. And then, you know, you can put some change or whatever inside of there. And you can just use this as a regular wallet by itself. Then you can just use this as a regular pocket. And I love that it has a floral detail right underneath the little um, snap as well. So it has like a really nice detail right there. And this just pops in. So you can use it with or without. And then this opens up. I have the, this is the crossbody strap right there. And inside of there, there's also more built-in card slots. Which is great. This is in like new condition. And then it has a little, um, little D-rings in the back. So you can attach the strap onto there. And the crossbody strap is not adjustable. But it is removable. And this is in like a really nice Saffiano. So it's nice and sturdy, scratch, water, and dirt resistant. And this is number 18. This is our green Saffiano Kate Spade crossbody wristlet clutch bag with. Um, gold hardware and removable um, flower wallet. Okay. We're going to do this one for just $55. So that is item number 18 for 55 And this one's in like new condition. It's really great. It's like three in one. You have a crossbody. You have a wristlet. You have a wallet. And number 18. And thank you so much, Levon. I'm glad you like it. Okay, so there's this guy right here. Which is the Plum Brahmin. Um, Laura, the color, or the Plum Brahmin is, it has, um, like, it has brushed brass hardware. So, uh, Laura, what is that Laura that asked? Yeah, Laura. It has brush brass hardware. It does have some color loss, though, on the front hardware right there. And a little bit on the side hardware. You can see some of that silver coming through. But it's supposed to be like a like a polished brass gold color. And how much was it, Adrian? And this one's $60. 6 zero. Oh, and it has this really great built-in wallet. So when you open up the little flap right here, built-in wallet, and then tons of compartments in the front so if there's even a clear id fantastic built in the top lap so that's number uh yeah so what, what number was that one yeah that was number 18 laura no not number 18 Adrian. number six yes it was number six Saying no to me. <laughs> no. Oh. Alright, up next, I actually have another Brahmin. And this is just a Brahmin little envelope clutch. And this one's really cool because it's, uh, it's a metallic. So it's like a metallic gold, pewter, and like a turquoise color. Really, really pretty. This has um, the polished brass gold colored hardware. Really nice. This is in really nice shape. It's in great condition. And inside is super duper clean. Ah. Yeah, it just has that, uh, what is that called? Microfiber lining. And it's in great shape. This one's in like new condition. And it has a little snap that closes right there. It's a really nice envelope clutch. And I love the colors. 
Uh, Kathleen. Uh, let me take a look really quick. Uh, okay, this is our metallic pewter. Hi, Hannah. Pewter, black, and turquoise Brahmin envelope um, clutch with gold hardware. Okay, this one's $45, and that's going to be item number 19. And this one is in like new condition. She is a beauty. Look at that. She shines and shimmers. So, love that. Oh, Cassandra's calling. Hi, Cassandra. How are you? All right. Number 19. Congratulations, Cassandra. Okay. Number 20 is up next. Um, do I have any other squishy as is dogs? All right, I have these. Okay, check these guys out. Um, this one... Dun, dun, dun. Okay, number 20. This is a Marc Jacobs collection uh, domed satchel. And it is in black patent leather. She is actually, she's gorgeous. Um, it's a Marc Jacobs collection. This probably retailed for like 950 to a thousand something dollars. Um, this has silver hardware. She's large and in charge. And this isn't like that stiff patent leather. This is like the squishy patent leather. So it's really nice. Um, has the crossbody strap right here, but the straps also are long enough to just carry on your shoulder if you, if you just use um, the top handles as well. The crossbody strap is removable if you wanted to take that out. And it also is um, slightly adjustable. Um, there's a front pocket right here, which is great. <laughs> Cassandra, it's calling your name. It's hiding amongst the other bag. It's like... <laughs> Uh, what was I going to tell you guys? I think, I, I know there was like a little something with this bag. I forgot what it was. Um, it does have feet on the bottom. And... Oh, this is it. Um, there's a little bit of like rubbing on the back of the strap right here. So that's on the back of the of the shoulder strap. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, I think the rest of the bag is in pretty great shape. It's so beautiful though. There also is a nice big pocket here in the front. And then the main compartment of the bag it zips across the top. There are uh, two pockets. There's a zipper and an open pocket. And then it has a very light discoloration around like the top where the zipper is. And Cassandra, <laughs> I'm trying to cover it with the bags. <laughs> But here she is. I, this is like the great, like a great rain bag, like when it's raining. Because, you know, the water is not going to do anything to the patent. Um, but yeah, it's in great shape. There might be like a little crinkling of the patent in the corners, but that's to be expected because it's a squishy patent. Um, silver hardware, great size. And how much is this featuring? Ah. Uh, 
Okay, this is our large um, patent Mark Jacobs collection domed satchel with silver hardware. And this is how much, Peter? 95? Okay, this one's going to be 95. Oh, Hannah, I'm sorry, but I'm glad you're here, though. It's nice to see your little um, icon face on there. <laughs> okay, so that's 20, 95 for number 20. Mark Jacobs Collection. So this was uh, made in Italy. And then... This is a little project bag right here. And this is a um, Kate Spade bag. It's actually in really great shape. And really, it's not too much of a project. Um, because you can just cut off the strap. And then attach another black crossbody strap to it. And then you're going to be done. So it's actually pretty easy. Uh, but this one, dam this one strap is damaged right here. Um... Yeah, it's like broken. The original owner tried to like glue it back together, but the strap is damaged. But it has the D ring, so you can just cut off the strap and then use it. Um, or you can bring this to a cobbler and then they can um, restitch it on for you. And it shouldn't be, I don't know how expensive that would be, but I, th I don't imagine it being too expensive. Um, there's a nice big front pocket right there. It does zip across the top, and then interior has a zipper pocket in the back, and then two open pockets on the other side. Interior is nice and clean. The exterior is in pretty great shape. It's really just that strap right here that's damaged. Um, the rest of the bag is in wonderful condition. And I do really like this embossed design on here with the little spades. All the stamping is in great shape too. There's no rubbing off on it. And the hardware is in pretty decent condition. I think there might be a minimal amount of like discoloration. A little bit of silver is coming through on the hardware. But yeah. And this is going to be item number... Um... Wait, what number are we on? Oh, number 21. Okay, so this is how much, Adrian? Black, um, uh, black embossed, uh, Kate Spade crossbody bag with light gold hardware, damaged strap. Let's just do this one for $25. I mean, <laughs> that's gonna be item number 21. <laughs> I paid $40 for this bag, but the strap. But yeah, you can easily attach another one to it. Oh, J Sweet's calling it. Congratulations, J Sweet. This one's going to you. Congrats. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Number 21. All right. And then 22. Oh, Jenny, I'm so sorry. J Sweet called that one. A cobbler, oh, it's like a like a shoe repair person, but usually cobblers can also fix handbags as well. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Up next, we got 22. Uh, let's do... Um, what do we have? What do we have? Oh, let's do this guy. Okay, this one is a Marc Jacobs bag. And uh, 
Oh my gosh, Vadrian, that baby is so cute. Oh, you don't, um, uh, costume jeweler? Usually, like, the shoe repair, um, they usually have them, like, at the mall, but, um, I feel like they're around. If you just, like, Google search, like, shoe repair or shoe cobbler, they usually also do, like, small handbag repairs or re-dyes or recoloring. Um, you can do it yourself, too. It's actually not too hard to do. You just need a couple tools to do it. And it probably costs as much to just buy the tools yourself and then do it yourself than it would be to bring it in. They sell all that stuff on Amazon. Okay, so this is the next item. This is a Marc Jacobs crossbody bag. And it's a little bucket drawstring bag in silver. It's really cute. It's silver with gold hardware. I like that combination, you know? Silver and gold, nice and shiny. The crossbody strap is in this uh, nylon and leather combo. And it's nice and thick. You can use these on other bags, too. I love, like, these nice, like, thick nylon straps. And then the interior is nice and clean. It just has one zipper pocket inside of there. And this does come with like all the Marc Jacobs cards and everything in the inside. And the bottom doesn't have feet. Just looks like that. But it's a really cute bag. This is a newer style too. And who doesn't love like a good metallic? It's nice and shiny. All the corners are in great shape as well. There's no color loss or rubbing or anything. The bag's in wonderful condition. And this is our silver uh, Mark Jacobs bucket bag with gold hardware. Isn't it gorgeous, Kirsten? How much did this one again, Peter? Isn't it beautiful, Kirsten? Like, it's like such a gorgeous bag. I love the silver. Yeah. Okay, this is 145, but let's do 125 tonight. I'm closing my eyes. <laughs> Don. Don, don't look. You might accidentally buy it. Okay, that's number 22. And this one is in like new condition. I just don't have a dust bag, but it will come with like the original cards and stuff inside the interior pocket. And 23 is next. All right, um, let's do... I have over here. Oh, you know what? I think I have another fixer upper bag. I have, I have a bag and a pouch. Ooh, and then I have this gorgeous clutch that I forgot about. Okay. Let's do the bag first. I got more. Oh my gosh, Hannah, that's exciting. I can't wait. Okay, this is a... Um, Kathleen... Is this navy? I have a clutch. I don't have any bags at the moment, but I will try to look for some for you tomorrow. We have another sale tomorrow at 10 p.m. Okay, so this is our next item. This is a, um, a Coach Hobo, like, shoulder bag. And the leather on this is gorgeous. Like, it's this beautiful, like, pebbled leather. Nice and squishy. It does have, like, some, like, lightning on the corners. It needs a good conditioning for sure. It has a couple marks. I know that white mark will come right out. 
Um, but yeah, this just needs a really good conditioning, and I think it's going to restore a lot of that color back into the leather, but this leather is really, really nice. There's a front pocket just right here, and it has a little turn lock up at the top. Oh, also it does still have the original uh, hang tag right there as well. This has that antique brass hardware, and I love all the details on the little shoulder strap. Interior. Um, interior is in decent condition. It does have some staining on the bottom. I know it's really hard to see. But there is some staining on the bottom. We're doing this one as an as-is bag, though. But there's a zipper pocket in there. And then two open pockets on the other side. Um, but yeah, the bag itself, though, I feel like is in pretty great shape. This one's going to be an easy one to fix up. I think you're mostly just going to need a little bit of conditioner, leather conditioner. And if you have um, some... You can turn the inside inside out. So just a little soap and water and like a little um, scrub brush or something, let it dry inside out, and then you'll be good to go. But this is a great little shoulder bag. And that's number 23. This is our brown Coach Hobo Fixer Upper shoulder bag. And then we're gonna do this one for 25. That's number 23. That's number 23 for 25. Okay. Oh man. Marion called that one first. Marion, you are quick. There you go. Yeah, Marion H. You got that one. Congratulations, Marion. We love a good fixer upper. I will try to find more fixer uppers for you guys. Um. I think I still have some more as well, but I don't have anything. I don't think I have anything else out here. Other than, oh, wait, I have a clutch. Hold on. I have a clutch. Um, that's a little clutch fixer upper. Hi, Shirley. Welcome. Oh, Kathleen, I'm sorry. Okay. Put that one over there. Uh, we are on number 24 now. Okay, this is our little clutch fixer upper. It's a little Kate Spade. It's so cute. It's in like an off-white and then black. And it has this really fun tassel zipper pull. Um, it's, and honestly, it's not in too bad of condition. There is a little bit of discoloration on the front. You can see that there. Uh, and also the stamping is kind of rubbing off a little bit. You can still see it, but that is coming off. But there is like there are some marks and discoloration on the front, right there. Um, so you can either try to clean it off and see if it comes out, or you can paint it a different color or color match it. There's the back. Also has a little bit of um, discoloration on this side. A little bit of like yellowing. Can you see that right there? It's it's not like super obvious even in person, but there is a little bit of discoloration just like right there. Zipper works nice. And then interior, um, it does have like some yellowing where the zipper is. on both. That's on both sides, but there's no other interior pocket, just black and white lining. Um, the lining does turn inside out though, so you can clean it out that way. Just a little soap and water, a little brush, and you should get it right out. Okay, Tanya, the ear go. Nice. Hannah, you gotta just turn everything multicolor, multi-chrome. It'll be real. Imagine this pouch in a multi-chrome. I think it would be really fun. But the leather on this is really nice. And this is going to be number 24. So this is our um, black and cream Kate Spade pouch. And this one will do for $20. And that's number 24. Okay, so there's this guy. 
And then I have another clutch. This one is really nice. Now, this one doesn't have a brand or anything, um, but this is a python leather. It is beautiful. It's in, like, a really dark, like, inky blue color. Like, it's almost black, but it's, like, it's blue. It's gorgeous. It's so, so soft. Like, python. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. Really, really pretty. Um, you open it up, and the inside is lined in... It's a suede, actually. It's like a suede. Brown suede. I don't... Yeah, there's no labels or anything in the interior, unfortunately. Um, I think there's just one mark right here. Yeah, there's like one mark right there. I don't know what it is, but there's one little mark right there. Otherwise, though, the bag is in pretty great shape. Um, maybe minor rubbing in the corner. I think it's just that corner that has like a little bit of rubbing in it. Uh, but yeah, it's so beautiful. And this is going to be number 25. This is our dark blue python leather fold over clutch with brown suede interior lining. And this one we're going to do for $35. And that's going to be item number 25. It's made, like, really well, and the python leather is just, like, gorgeous. Mm. So soft. I know. I'm, like, I'm imagining this bag being, like, a Nancy Gonzalez clutch or something, and those bags are, like, a gazillion dollars. I'm trying to see. Yeah, I don't see any labels or anything inside. It's like unlabeled. But it's made really well. Like all the stitching is really nice. Like, it's a beautiful, beautiful pouch. Anyway, that's 25. Um, 26 is up next. Uh, let's see, let's see. What number should we go to? Should we end it already? <laughs> Are you guys tired? It's like 10 o'clock. Okay, we're going to go to 30. We'll go to 30, and then we're going to call it a night. Um, 26. I have... This is a vintage Dooney and Burke. This one's also going to be an as-is, a little fixer-upper. Um, this one is in... Is this black or navy? Hold on. Oh, navy! This is a navy. I think it looks black, though. Maybe it is black. No, in comparison, I think it's a navy. Um, this is a navy and brown Dooney and Burke crossbody bag. This is the all-weather leather. Um, there's a lot of rubbing on the brown, like, leather. But there aren't any, like, holes or anything. So you may be able to, like, still restore it. Probably, like, lots of layers of conditioner. Um, will kind of get it looking a lot better. Um, but... Still a really great bag. The all-weather leather is in great shape. We have this back pocket right here, cross-body strap. It does also still have the little hang tag charm right there. It's blavy. <laughs> it's like black and navy. Yes. Um, interior does need a bit of a cleaning at the very bottom. It does need some cleaning in there. Uh, there's a zipper pocket and then an open pocket underneath. And... This is what it looks like underneath the top flap. And this bag also does have 
feet. Um, okay, and this one, we're just going to do this one for 25 as well. It's going to be number 26. Our navy and brown vintage coach um, made in USA. Or not coach, vintage Julian Burke. Crossbody bag. And that's... That's in that fine line between black and navy for when you really don't want to choose. <laughs> it's like a commercial. All right, that's number 26. 26 for 25. Oh, Cindy called that one. I'm sorry, Carmen. She called it right before you. Congratulations, Cindy. That one's going to you. Our vintage Dooney. All right, 27 is up next. Oh, I still have this gorgeous furla. I love this furla tote. It has these purple and pink flowers. They kind of look like peonies. And then um, it's like a off-white, like, cream color. And this is in a Safiano leather. Then we have the pink candles, light gold hardware. This is what the bottom looks like. The corners are in okay condition. It does have a little bit of rubbing on that side right there. And right there as well. And right there. And right there. And then the interior is in this light pink lining. And we have two interior zipper pockets right inside. Um, interior is in decent condition. There's a little bit of discoloration on the very bottom. Uh, oh, Carmen's calling 26. Oh, yeah, Carmen. Yeah, I'm sorry. Cindy got that one. Okay, so this is going to be item number 27. And this is our pink and purple. Um, floral furla. How much was the tote, Vadrian? Oh, the size of this one? Um, it's kind of in between the MM and the GM. It's like a little bit bigger than MM and a little bit smaller than the GM. Yeah, it's the floral one. Okay, this one we're going to do for $75. But still, it's $70. A little discount on that one. $70, uh, number 27. Okay, up next, 28. You're welcome, Dawn. I wish I had one to show you in comparison, but I don't. I should probably just get, like, <laughs> I should get a GM and an MM so I can show you guys the comparison sizes of the two. Okay, 28 is going to be... Um, oh, I have this... Um, Versace belt. It's black leather. It's like black Safiano leather. And it has like a gunmetal hardware. And it has like the Medusa head right inside of there. Um, there's a little... There's the stamping on the inside. Right there. Um, this belt is a size... It says 30 slash 32. So it probably fits a 30, 32. So it's probably like a size small. But it's really cute. It's in pretty good condition. It just has minor marks on the hardware. <laughs> exactly, Hannah. I'm just going to buy a bunch of Louis Vuitton Neverfulls in each size so that I can show you guys comparisons with tote bags. <laughs> okay, um, this is going to be our number 28 black Versace belt, Safiano leather, and gunmetal hardware, size 30, 32. And this one is, okay, we had this one at 90, but we're going to do 80. Okay, that's number 28. Okay, two more items, and we're going to be 
Ending the Night, 29, is up next. Okay, set that guy over there. Um... Let's do Oh, this one. Lady Badger, I think you emailed me about this. Did I ever reply to you? I don't remember ever replying to you about this. Hold on, did I? Um I remember I saw it, but I was like Let's see, hold on. I don't remember if I ever um Oh, okay, yeah. Sh I, I totally saw your email, but I didn't get a reply to you, um, Lady Badger. Are you still in here? What size? Oh, Lady Badger, okay, I'm sorry. I saw your email. I totally forgot to message you back. I was like, I think you I think you emailed the day that I had to... We had a, another flat tire, and I was I had to <laughs> get a new tire for it. Um, but Lourdes, I'm sorry that Mark Jacobs sold already. But here's the Marc Jacobs. Um, this is a Marc Jacobs collection piece. Black lambskin leather quilted. Um, the sides are turned up a little bit, and that's from when the bag is being carried. So uh, there is that. Um, there is a back zipper pocket right here. And the crossbody strap is removable, so you can take this out if you wanted and just use this as a wallet or a clutch. Um, card slots, slip pocket, more card slots on the other side, and there's a, there's a middle change pocket, but it does have, like, a lot of discoloration inside of there in the change pocket. It looks like there's a toothpick in there, too. Oh, okay, luckily the toothpick's not used, it's still inside the plastic thing, but, yeah, there is a lot of discoloration inside of there. Um, how much are we going to do this one for, Beauty? Um, let me check the snap. Okay, the snap works, but the, the, like, the leather is, like, kind of pulled on it from, like, opening and closing it so much. Um, I can try to, like, glue it down. So it doesn't move so much. But just know that this is, like, it's kind of pulling up. Like, that leather is loose. Like, loosey-goosey. Um, yeah. Okay. So this is going to be number 29. This is our black quilted, yeah, Marc Jacobs walk. Um... Mark Jacobs collection walk with gold hardware. And this guy is going to be 45. And we will like try to glue it down for you so that way like the snap isn't like moving around like crazy. Um, but yeah, but just know that it's like it's going to look a little wrinkly like that because yeah. But we will, like, gl glue it down if you buy it, but if anyone buys it. Or you guys can wait and then see how it turns out first and see how that looks. But I feel like it should be fine. Anyway, that's 29. Okay, last item is number 30. Okay. And we have... This pink Kate, or Kate Spade, this pink Tory Burch satchel. Look at her. She's in light pink, brushed gold hardware. We have the crossbody strap and the top handles. She is, oh wait! I'll save this one for tomorrow. I'm gonna hide it. I forgot that I had this too. Okay, we're gonna go to 31, because I want to show it to you guys already. Oh, the giveaway link. Sorry, Hannah. I didn't see you there. Hold on. 
Okay, here's it. Here's the giveaway link. If you guys haven't entered the giveaway, that is right there. Oh, Cindy's calling 29. Congrats, Cindy. All right, congratulations. Uh, we love Marc Jacobs' collection. Okay. This was okay. This is uh huh. Okay, sorry guys. Okay, so this is thirty. Um, Marjorie, I'm gonna have Adrian check in just a second. Adrian actually had to answer another phone call really quick. Okay, um, this is our Tory Birch. Here's the interior. It has a middle dividing zipper compartment. And then it has... This actually has so many <laughs> compartments in it. It has two exterior zipper compartments. So there's that one. And then that. And then this one. And then in between, there are other open compartments as well. And then in the very middle... You have a zipper pocket and then an open pocket. So there's so many compartments in this thing. Crossbody. It also does have a front pocket right here. You can put your cell phone inside. And crossbody strap is adjustable and it is removable. And it's in pretty great shape. It has very minimal rubbing on the corners. Pretty nice condition overall. Um, I think they're, oh no, that's nothing. Um, handles are in pretty good shape as well. Okay, how much is this one, Vadrian? Oh, Vadrian, have you sent out Marjorie's stuff yet? Light pink, Tory Birch. Um, Marjorie, I think... I just dropped off your stuff the other day because I wasn't able to drop it off when it was raining. Um, so I think we're going to be able to ship your stuff out either tomorrow or if you want to wait until Monday um, to see what we have um, on Saturday. But let me know. Otherwise, we'll try to have it shipped out tomorrow. Toy Birch, double, actually triple zip. Satchel with brushed gold hardware. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be $125, and that's going to be number 30 for our Tory Birch. Okay, we're actually going to have a bonus item because I forgot that I had it. So, number 30. Right there. And this one is so cute. And this is actually going to be like a two for one. It's going to come with um, both the little pouch and the little um, wristlet or little um, card case. So you have this little pochette right here. I'll show you this first. This is Coach. And it's in like this lavender pink Safiano. And it has these really fun crystal flowers um, on the front. There's the back. It has this little chain shoulder strap. You can also make this into a wristlet as well and just attach it to the end. Um, there is... Okay, Marjorie. Vadrian, Marjorie says Monday. It has a little um, charm right there. When you open it up, there's two card slots and then a slip pocket in the back. But it's super cute. So you can wear it as a wristlet or even just like a little, a little shoulder bag, you know. Tiny little shoulder bags are super cute. And you'll also receive this little card case right here. It matches. Same color, same Safiano, silver hardware. There's a clear ID. There's card slots. And then it zips across the top as well. And it's nice and clean in the inside. So they're both in great shape. And you're going to get both of these two guys uh, together. And these will come together. 
Let me actually stick these together so that way they don't get lost. Okay. So how much is this Vadrian? <laughs> and it's okay. You're tired. It's okay. Um, pink, jeweled, flower, Safiano, coach, mini shoulder bag with silver hardware, and um, card case, card key case. And you, we, okay, this one's 85, and this is for the pair. So you're going to get both of them. And that's going to be 30, or number 31 for $85. Oh, Norma, you're quick. Congratulations, Norma. This is a great little combo. Congrats, Norma. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jenny. Norma was quick on that one. All right. And that is going to be our last item for the evening. Uh, tomorrow I am going to go out again and go look for some treasures. So hopefully we'll have a slew of new items tomorrow. Um, so join me if you're available tomorrow at 10 p.m. Pacific time. And if you can't make it, you can always catch the replay um, the next day. Don't forget to enter the giveaway, though. Here is the link one more time. Our question is, um, if you had a cat or a dog and you could only pick one, which would it be? Leave your answer in the comments of that video that I just linked. And we're giving away this super cute kitty cat pouch right here. This is tonight's giveaway. And I will look for some more of these. Like, they're so cute. I, fe I feel like I see these every so often at the thrift store, but normally they're, like, too stained or damaged or something. But this one was literally still brand new, so I picked it up. Um, Hadrian, did they sell the black? Kathleen, no, the patent leather, um, Marc Jacobs is still available if you're interested. Yeah, if anyone has any questions about anything too, let me know. But yeah, this, um, this guy is still available. It's the black, this is the Marc Jacobs collection, black patent dome satchel with silver hardware. She's still available and is number, uh, black. Uh, I cannot even see it. Huh? Oh, it's number 20 and it's $95 for this guy. Hannah, I hope you entered the giveaway. Uh, but yeah, if anyone has any other questions, um, Jenny, we're going to send it right after the, um, right after the sale ends. So just in a few minutes. Um, Kathleen, it's, uh, $95 for that one. You're welcome, Kathleen. All right, so don't forget to enter that giveaway. I'm just going to give you like a couple more seconds to enter. Oh my gosh, my eyeball just got attacked. Hi, only one Zane. How are you? All right. Well, I'm going to finish my coffee. Then I'm going to pick the winner. Again, this is our little giveaway for the night. Our little Puss in Boots looking cat pouch. And we're going to pick the winner in three. Oh, that's no problem, Jenny. No problem. Three, two, one. Doo, 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 doo. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Hannah! Congratulations! 
that is so funny. You were like, I want to win. And you won. Congratulations. Um, do I have to choose? Having to pick between cats and dogs like having to choose between cakes and candy. I want both, even though I'm allergic to them. Congratulations. Thank you for pronouncing. Oh, you're very welcome. That is an awesome name. But congratulations, Hannah. We're going to send you your little cat pouch. I can't believe you won. See, good thing you came in. Knew there was a reason for you to pop in today. But thank you so much, everyone, for joining us tonight. Um, hope you guys had fun. Again, I'll be back tomorrow, 10 p.m. Pacific time, with all new items. I'm going to go sourcing tomorrow to hopefully find some awesome stuff for you guys. Um, thank you guys again for so much for hanging out tonight. Um, invoices should be sent out within the next 15 minutes. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right. Bye, guys. Good night. Adios. Good night, Kathleen, Tanya, Veronica, Laura, Edie, Tara, Dota Word again. Congratulations, Hannah. Um, only one Zane. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, Jenny, uh, Norma, Linda, Laura, Don, Carmen, Ashley, Pauline, Tara. And if I didn't mention your name, I'm so sorry, but I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right. Adios. Good night. And sayonara. Adiva Boom, boom.